<laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> I've never been so aware of what I look like. Because I have uh, uh, opposite body dysmorphia, I think I'm far more handsome and then I see myself in the mirror and I'm like, God damn. So yeah, it's annoying to see them render it so accurately. Detective, I was wondering when you were going to show up. Pardon me, excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. <laughs> I know they, 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 they did, and they shouldn't. <laughs> they should just use the template of Brad Pitt's face, and then we're good to go. But they had to get it right. I just finished a, a movie which was based on a video game, and I had this kind of newfound appreciation for video games, having not played a lot of them in my own life, um, and just really kind of getting an insight into how big the gaming world is and the level of craftsmanship that goes into creating these games. Wait. So don't. when the offer came through to be in an alone in the dark, I said that yes immediately. Excuse me? Do you know where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? What I'm most drawn to is the, the different characters because they are all so, so different, so fully fleshed out. And I'm always just so fascinated about their dialogue. What are you doing? I told you not to lose sight of the girl. Don't you worry, Mags. I'll find that little rascal. Who are you people? You really do feel like when Emily meets a new character, the world is completely changed. Ruth. Ruth, tell all. Nice to meet you. I mean, he's kind of a gruff detective, and he's, like, searching for something, and, you know, he's... Uh, he's hard-boiled, but he's got some humor to him and stuff like that. He's a bit of a um, trope or a type, and I like that. And I like the world and sort of where, how he's exploring this insanity um, amidst all this horror and stuff. I liked all those aspects. Oh, she is just peachy, detective. You want to be able to sort of ride a balanced line of being able to play a character that's a certain way, but also that it has, it doesn't have too many specifics so that someone will distance themselves from that character. You want them to be able to invest in this person. Well, I guess it's also trying to make sure that there isn't like one tone throughout. Like, yeah, you know it's a horror, but then you don't want her to be one level throughout the whole game. You know, like, yes, there is the, the kind of scary element, but then she still has to go on a journey and discover different things, and there should still be room to breathe and have a funny moment or a sarcastic moment or um, a moment of discovery. Um, so it's just trying to really kind of keep all those other beats alive amongst the, um, the kind of darkness of it all, I guess, is how I felt anyway. And she is kind of, you know, she, there's a lot of fear within her and a lot of speculation and um, curiosity and, I guess, dread, intrigue. Like, there's a, there's a lot about her that is um, kind of on edge. Detective, I really need you to get yourself together. I can't do this alone. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely play it. I'll probably play it as uh, Emily. The cinematics will probably be better, but it'll be those moments in the gameplay where you know, you're running around trying to solve something, and as I say, I'm pretty terrible at it. And then you just hear, I can't do that, I can't do that, I can't do that. <laughs> then I'll be very annoyed with my own voice. I can't leave. I got a job to do. I can't leave. I got a job to do. I can't leave. I got a job to do. It's really, really cool. I mean, like, never, ever would I think that I would have the opportunity to do something like this, you know? It's so incredible to be able to kind of step out of what you usually do and explore something new and um, kind of challenge yourself in a, in a new way. Um, so it's, it's been amazing. Station.